Hello and welcome back to Etec Hunting. It's extremely windy today, but we've got the Crown GRS shooting 21 grain javelins, so sit back and enjoy. Today is going to be an interesting video. I purposely set this gun up with light slugs, the 21 grains, and it is actually gale force winds out there today. They predicted heavy, heavy winds for the Cape Town area with warnings out and everything. But I want to see how the 21 grains um, perform in this kind of wind. So let's see what happens. We are busy getting things ready, unpacking everything out of the truck. The wind is hectic today. It's going to be a crazy windy day. So I hope the mics and everything holds up. So we're going to use the Crown GRS first. Um, don't know if we're going to use the, the Wildcat BT. We'll see how the day, day goes because that's still in the case over there. And we're going to shoot the 21 grain javelins. Uh, Maggie is busy loading up the magazines. Uh, this Crown is set up to shoot them at 950 feet per second. I'll share the tune settings a bit later in the video. We're going to see what happens, but first we've got to zero the gun. We proceeded to zero the gun downwind to minimize the effect of the wind on the process. After that we hooked up the scope cam and it was time to hunt. We scouted the area and it wasn't long before we got our first target. Got him, 56 meters. Now the wind is very difficult, so I just estimated what I should hold there, but yeah, looks like he's down. I should have held a little less because this was almost directly downwind. Lucky for me, I still got him. I decided to wait on the spot because knowing what to hold now is a massive advantage in conditions like this. It didn't take long and the next target was in sight. Got him, Sparrow, 56 meters. Using that advantage resulted in this Sparrow getting hit in the head. Right, so we've got two down. I'm standing here behind the shed now just to hide from the wind a bit, so the mic can cope a little bit better. It's extremely difficult. The wind is not consistent at all. It's very swirly, so it's no joke. So we're going to try and do this very quickly. So Maggie is on her way now to try and find uh, a target for her as well. The birds are very skittish as well, they're not sitting for too long, obviously because the wind is just so strong. Maggie signaled a few pigeons on the roof around the corner and we positioned her on a fence close by for the shot. Got him. That was 41 meters. This time it was straight into the wind and Maggie could just hold dead on. We were hoping to get two there, but the other one also flew away. These 21 grains make quite a bit of a pop, so it scared the other one away, but we'll find more. One positive thing about this wind is that it makes life much cooler. So it's nice to have a breeze going through and just not the burning hot sun. So it actually makes the hunt quite more enjoyable if you can deal with the dust in the eyes and everything, but it's not too bad today. So yeah, having a jaw out here. We were quite protected from the wind behind the sheds here and I was determined to take full advantage of that. Down he goes, 33 meters, awesome. I could pretty much hold dead on and just look at that strong wind coming over the roof there. The Crown GRS is an absolute classic with best-in-class ergonomics. Today the rifle is tuned to shoot the 21 grain Javelin.218 at 950 feet per second. This is achieved with the regulator on 150 bar, the power wheel on 14 and the transfer port on high. The gun is extremely efficient and shoots the 21 grain effortlessly. So we are moving around today. There's a lot of walking because we seeing them flying around, seeing them sit somewhere and then we walk after them. So yeah, it's a bit of an effort but it's worth it. I find the best way to carry this gun is just over your shoulder because the stock is pretty comfortable up here to put on your shoulder here. You can also use the bag if you want. Let's put it like that. It also works very nicely. And that's the easiest way to carry a long rifle. Maggie just found a silhouette peeking through the shed there. So she's going to go for him. It's about 56 meters. 
Yo, okay, 56 meter and he's dead. This was by far the loudest pop of the morning, nicely amplified by that shed. So that was a pretty keen observation by Maggie to find that pigeon. Just, just saw the silver head there. Took him down, we're gonna see if we can find him quickly, see what he looks like. So he should be just behind the shed here. He would have fallen down here, let's see if we can find him. So by now you've seen the footage as well, he actually fell inside of the shed and it's no wonder we couldn't find him out here. When we couldn't find the pigeon, we decided to move to the other side of the farm, the windy side, and see what we can find there. It was pretty windy on this side, so the strategy was to keep the distances short. I almost misjudged the wind here and barely got him. I then adjusted on the second shot and centered this one. Down he goes, 20 meters. So that looked like a sparrow hotspot. I think we got two down and now they're all gone. So we got to get moving again. The mic were really struggling. So we decided to move back to the shelter of the buildings. First shot didn't get him that well, second shot spot on. This was not my best shooting, I aim a little bit high on the first one, it hits him through the top of the back, the second one I aim a little bit too low and it skips off the ground, but luckily it still hit him. We don't only have the wind to contend with today, we also have two very active falcons, they are circling around constantly, obviously for them um, the birds are easier target in this wind because they can't hear them and the smaller birds are getting flung around in the wind as well so it makes life easier for the falcons to catch them so the birds especially the sparrows they are very skittish because of those two falcons they don't sit along too for too long so it makes our job much more difficult but it's all part of the hunt it's all part of the fun and we're getting it done so we can't complain the best strategy was just to keep on moving Down he goes, 20 meters. Close and easy and the 21 grain makes short work of him. So there's a pigeon up there. We know he's up there because he landed there. But we can't find an angle on him. So we'll just keep an eye on that tower for now. Until he makes himself appear. Maggie is determined to get him, <laughs> but yeah, he is somewhere in there and we can't see him at the moment. Unfortunately, that pigeon never revealed himself, so we decided to go sit somewhere and wait for a few sparrows. Yes, okay, got that one. This was the first time I've seen a spiral with these 21 grains and I'm just going to blame this in a little air bubble in the lead. It happens. Got that one, 40 meters. The next one flies straight again and impacts perfectly. Another one down, 40 meters. I had quite a few comments in the previous video asking about this scope mount. So this is from Eagle Vision. It's the standard um, GoPro uh, mount. I just uh, 3D printed my own little adapter to mount the GoPro 10, but Masood from Eagle Vision is busy bringing out a adapter for the GoPro 10 as well. Just one note is the GoPro 10, you can't change the lens yourself. So you'll have to order this from Backbone. I'll put all the links down below, which makes it pretty expensive. I would still recommend as a economical version to go for the GoPro 7, because then you can put the lens in yourself, which is a very easy process. Um, I love this mount because I can quickly change them in between guns. Um, there's no adapters or anything that I need to change Allen keys or anything. It's just a, a little turn of this knob. It comes off and you put it on another gun. So it's a very easy going mount. And for me, this just works beautifully. This one also has the 75-25 split, meaning that 
75% of the light goes to the camera and 25% goes to your light. So we see a little dark image, but on the video you'll see a much brighter image, which is important for me as well. You do get a 50-50 as well if you're into that. So yeah, I love this mount, it works very nicely. Solid impact, another 40 meters. Knowing what to hold now makes it pretty easy to hit the center on. Got him, 34 meters. Well, as they say, time goes by fast while you're having fun. Our hunting window has come to an end and we have to head back home to fetch the kids. I'm very happy with the performance of the lighter 21 grain slugs in this wind and knowing how to use the conditions and terrain to your advantage will go a long way. Well, that is it. We are done for the day. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe. Also follow us on Instagram and then we'll see you next time. Cheers.